Hi there, welcome to Biology Season 90 and today we'll discuss a very interesting topic very easily you'll understand that is sexual reproduction. Make sure to subscribe and this is Unit 1 Class 12 Biology. Let's understand some basic terms. Please play the video at slow speed from your setting so that you can understand very better way. First term, sexual reproduction is a biparental reproduction because two parents involved in this process of opposite sexes. And the next is the parents must produce gamete and those gamete must be transferred and they must fuse. So the fusion of gamete is called syngamy or fertilization. So you have to remember the term. So male and female gamete here. Then what is haploid? If a cell contain only half number of chromosome, it is called haploid and symbol is N. And in case of diploid, if a cell contain whole set number of chromosome, it is called diploid, twice N. Remember, testes and ovary are called gonad and they produce sperm and ovum respectively. And one more thing that is sperm and ovum are haploid cell also called germ cell or gametes. What is gametogenesis? The process of formation of gamete from gamete mother cell is called gametogenesis and gamete mother cell is diploid gametes are haploid. Here meiosis it is a reduction cell division where chromosome number become half. Let me explain. Let's take an example of a cell have diploid number of chromosome that is twice n. After reduction division that is meiosis, the new daughter cell will have only n number of chromosome. So in case of mitosis, chromosome number remain unchanged and it is performed by haploid and diploid cell both. So here meiosis is performed only by diploid cell. So let an example of a diploid cell containing 2n number of chromosome. If it is reproduced by mitotic cell division, the both new daughter cell will have same number of chromosome that is 2n and 2n. Is the characteristics. What is juvenile phase? So the period of life before attaining reproductive phase is called juvenile phase. The organism are reproductively inactive in this phase. No reproduction takes place. In the case of plant, this phase is called vegetative phase. After this phase, reproductive phase is come. In this phase, organism become reproductively active and produce new offspring. Plant shows flowering in this reproductive phase and animal shows some morphological changes. For example, puberty. Let's understand this. The lifespan from birth to maturity, it is called juvenile phase. And at maturity, it is called reproductive phase. So organism is reproductively active in this phase. Then the senescence and death is the last phase of life. Germinal reproduction. Sexual reproduction is also called as germinal reproduction as new organism are produced from germinal cell or germ cell. Then variation, the genetic or morphological differences between parents and offspring due to crossing over of chromosome, it is called variation. So let these are the parents and they have produced an offspring and this offspring may have some variations that is change in morphological character or genetic character. This is due to variation, you and me, different from each other.
and variation is the key factor of evolution. Hence, sexually produced organisms have better chance of survival. So it is an important question. Now let's read the mind map given by me or read your own textbook. Subscribe right now for more video like this and please check my description. Click the first link to watch more video like this. Join my tutorial class to access all amazing materials. And watch my next video that is sexuality in organism. This all terms will be discussed in the next slide. And make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon. Make chapter easy and interesting with biology and 90. Bye bye. Hi there, you are watching Biology Zone 90 and myself Shubhra Das. Welcome to my channel and please make sure to subscribe right now. If you are very new and if you are already subscribed, so thank you very much from the core of my heart.